Valentine's. Okay, it is Big Mama. Today is Monday, the 16th. It's MLK Day, Robert E. Lee Day. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this morning I have been productive but been lazy. So I've done a few things, sit down and be lazy. Done a few more things, sit down and be lazy. I finally got some on my list and just I kept taking it out. I didn't get it done that day. We're just going to roll it over to the next day. So I've been doing that for about a week off and on. Like bag up my cheese. I bought the big thing of mozzarella. And uh, I needed to bag it up like in little quart bags. I finally got that done today. Um, I have also had some onions on the counter and then in my onion bin that have some bad spots. So, I am going to cut them up, toss the bad section, and then if the good part is worth saving, I'm going to save it. I'm just going to put them in little, like, pork bags, you know, dice them or slice them. I'll probably do some of each, and then put them in the little quart bags and freeze them. Um, I should have done it way before now, because now I'm afraid a couple of them might be too far gone. But procrastination gets you nowhere, right? So, I'm getting it done today. Today's a get her done day. Um, I'm just gonna take my sweater. I'll get cold and then I'll get hot. And then I'll get cold and then I'll get hot. So, it's just what it is. If you don't like the weather in Alabama, stick around five minutes. It's gonna change. Honey, we have been from winter to summer to winter to summer. That's what causes the real bad tornadoes. We'll get through a hot streak, and then all of a sudden we'll have a cold front come in. So you can bet your baby some tornadoes are going to show up. And so we've been hot. Okay, I hope I don't... Whoa. I was going to say, I hope this doesn't make me sick. Okay, it looks like it's just the outer layer, maybe. So maybe if I pull back, it has a smell. But I think, because I've been known, you can take an onion, and see there's a bad part. We are going to cut that whole little section off. And I'm going to take off this outer, this outer ring. So, it might not be a lot left from that onion, but it's something. I mean, this would be enough for um, a burger or a hot dog, you know, for the family. Or, um, I need something to wipe this with. Oh, here we go. But, yeah, I'm just going to take and either, like I said, slice them up, dice them up. Um, I can put them in. Uh, like if we have sausage tonight or this afternoon sometime. He's going to make burgers and dogs. I thought I had hot dogs left. I evidently do not. I've looked kind of everywhere that they would be. Uh, but I did find some Kineka sausage. So, we'll have Kineka dogs. Y'all, if you have never had Kineka sausage, Big Mama is here to tell you, either look for it in your grocery store, and if you cannot find it, look up Kaneka Sausage online, and I do believe they still have it where you can mail order it, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe, all right, now see, that was a good bit left on that one. Um, I do believe they still have it where you can mail order. Kind of like priesters pecans. You can look online and you can order the stuff and it will be shipped to you. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of do these onions. Oh yeah, he's kind of, he's got him a rough spot up there, but we're going to be able to cut around that. And I always take like the layer that's affected. I'm going to take it off. Alright, you saw that. Now there's no more black, but 
I'm going to make double sure I'm going to cut the next layer off as well. Just what well, I got the next two layers, actually. But that's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And it's not like I'm just chunking the whole onion. I always cut off your bad section and then the next layer past that. And then you can chop it, slice whatever you want to do. Get them in your little bags. I might go ahead and get the rest of the onions that are over there in my bin. Oh, here's one. I had a few out up here. I was going to give to a neighbor because I, I knew it was too many for us to use up, and I was just going to take her stuff. Well, I never did. I laid them out over here, and I never did get them to her, and they laid there, and that's when I started noticing, whoa, them got some blood spots on them. But they have been over here since the first. When did I go to um, Sam's? Yeah, like the 30th. It was the 30th. Go ahead and set it first. All right, so I got those. So we're just going to start dicing. I think I'm going to dice these two little ones and then slice these bigger ones. Because like I said, um, I'm going to do burgers tonight. So I'm going to leave some of the sliced ones out and then I'll probably leave some of the chopped ones out as well. Um, because we're going to be doing those blocks. So, I'm just going to kind of mess with me. I'll take some of these slices and I'll make some onion rings. I haven't had a good onion ring and I could not tell you when. And yeah, sometimes the frozen ones are okay. It depends on the ones you get. If they look almost like a, I don't know, a, a naughty breaded breading, they're not, yeah, no. I like the smooth cake bread, like tempura batter. Give me the tempura batter ones, and we'll be great. So, but it's the, almost like a, breadcrumb type mixture. Uh, I want to say like Burger King's. Burger King used to have those. I'm not a fan of those. You give me the preferred batter ones, like the smooth batter. We're in. I guess the best onion rings I've ever really and truly had was when we had gone to um, Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And we were coming back and we were in Bristol, Virginia. We had not crossed. I mean, like, there was like a line in the road that marked off Bristol, Virginia from Bristol, Tennessee. And it was just like right there. We went to a Cheddar's. We do not have Cheddar's down here. But up there, if you ever are near a Cheddar's, stop. Order the onion rings. And I kid you not, they're like stacked on the plate like that. There are no skewers in them. They're not connected like in any way. They're just layered. And they'll walk out to your plate with them. And it's almost like the shape of a tree, a Christmas tree. And they'll walk out with it. And they'll set it down and it won't jiggle, it won't move, it won't fall. You start taking from the top and you work your way down. And, but if you try, we try playing Jenga with them. We should have known better. Because we had onion rings all over the table. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. You want to talk that good. Honey, I could have died right then and there. A happy woman. <laughs> Did you not? Alright, I'm just going to kind of dice. Ooh, sorry. Dice these up a little bit. Um, get them in the freezer. Like I said, I'll probably leave one or part of one out. 
And then I'm trying to think. I did do my menu for the week. We're kind of shaking things up a little bit today. I was going to make fish. I keep putting it on a list and we keep not doing it. So, i got to hurry up and make some fish. Like I said, I gave Brian some the other week when he was here. And he finally made him some Friday night. And he messaged me and then he called me. He sent me pictures. I just oohing and eyeing over that catfish. And if I would have had the room then, oh, I am so sorry, y'all. If I would have known our freezer was on the way and I had the room, you could be guaranteed I would have bought more than one box because, man, that's good catfish. And that's why he kept saying, Mommy, you got any more? And I'm like, well, Brian, did you cook all that that I gave you? Well, I kind of went ahead and fried it all up, and I'm just going to eat on it. And I'm like, I don't like reheating fried fish. It just don't. To me, it don't reheat well. Um, I'd rather just fry a little batch, you know, eat that, and then next time we need some, fry up some more. But, uh, yeah. I'm with him. That's the only bad thing about frying something. You get that smell of grease in your house. And the last time I fried something, what was it I fried? I don't even remember now. Might have been fish. No, I want to say it was pork. No, it wasn't pork chops. I think it was fish. And honey. I, me and Ken Lysol went around this whole house spraying and praying, girl. I mean, for real. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and bag up. These dogs went bag up. They're already bagged up, idiot. Me, not y'all. Um, I'm going to put these in the freezer. I think I'm going to leave these out. Well, these are small. I think I'm going to leave these out for the burgers and then... If we need some for the rights, we can chop these. So, I'm just going to stick these down. I've got my extras. I've been slowly um, starting to clean out the freezer down at the bottom of the refrigerator. Oh, now it smells like cheese. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> Do you think it smell like goopy? I'm talking about me, not y'all. <laughs> Alright, let me put these bags up. Wash my hands. I have been missing y'all. I really have. Um, and if you're new here, hi, hi, and how you doing? I think I'm a little crooked, but... Well, I'll just kind of lean and make it look straight. Cut up that. Um, yeah, if you're new here, hey, Hoyne, I'm Big Mama. Um, welcome. You are family now once you start watching. That's it. It's almost like being, well, I was going to say being in quarantine, but. <laughs> um,. Once you, it's like a train wreck. Once you look, you can't look away. You just gotta wait and see what I'm gonna do next. Cause even I don't know. I mean, for real. <laughs> and if you're a return, hey, Hines, I'm so glad to be back. I really am. Thank y'all for bearing with me yet again. Like I said, if you're new here, I have been known to disappear for a while and then reappear. And it's just with my autoimmunes, um, I have stiff person syndrome, and now that Celine Dion has come out, it's made a lot more people aware of, you know, how it goes. And I will have a great run for months, and then all of a sudden, I can't talk, um, I can't hardly move I can't do the things I used to do and then it does make me anxious depressed I mean that's your mentally as well um, yeah 
yeah so it's just a problem all the way around but uh now that we readjusted some meds made you know went up a little bit on some and that's just how it's going to go it is a progressive disease and it can either be slow progressive like it can hang out for years and you not have a flare-up and then again it can be fast progressive where you'll go in two years you'll go to where you just you're you know bed bound so I've talked to both sides of the equation um, the only way we can talk really is either Instagram or Facebook um, because it is so rare but like I said now that Celine Dion has been diagnosed with it it's it's making it more where people recognize and realize you know how bad it can get um, but when she starts treatment there is no cure um, and like I said it is progressive blessedly mine went dormant for a while and now it's starting to flare back up but we're hoping with the increase in meds it will kind of go back dormant for a while I can go a year and a half with no flare-ups whatsoever and then all of a sudden boom I'm hit like a freight train with it um, and it takes a while to get it you know balanced back out and regulated and all that fun stuff but uh, I'm doing better now so I'm grateful for the wonderful doctors that I have um, UAB is awesome um, Johns Hopkins in Baltimore they're they're good to go to because they are the specialist but we really truly really had more progress and help from Emory University in Atlanta so yeah yeah in fact it's probably time for me to go back since I am having like the flare-ups but now it's settled down I might need to go back to Emory and kind of get reevaluated and see what they say because it's been a hot minute since I've been there. Once they kind of get you on a treatment plan there, then they'll let your neurologist or your rheumatologist or whoever um, know here kind of like this is what we're going to do. This is the treatment plan. And so that, like I said, that have been working for a good bit. So, anywho, what am I going to do with the rest of my day? I got onions cut up. I smell like, y'all, I love this. This is that bath and body that I got when they had their hand soaps. I want to say it was like three for 15 or three for 12. It was three for 12. It was before Christmas. And that frozen lake scent, it's a holiday scent. But it doesn't really smell like a holiday. It's just a good, clean smell. And it's made with natural essential oils. I don't know if it... It's got vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and the natural essential oils. I was looking to see if it said... Frozen cypress, eucalyptus, and juniper berry. So, is the fragrances that are that has like the notes of I guess you would say alright now and I've cleaned out my refrigerator got all the leftovers out leftovers you put them in the instead of throwing them out don't throw food away you put it in a Tupperware container put it in your refrigerator let it hang out for two weeks then you throw it away that's how you handle that No, we have been eating on them. And, hey, Baba! Hey, big girl! In fact, Carol made the comment when I asked her the other night. Oh, I asked her yesterday afternoon what she wanted for supper. I said, we could do leftovers and clean out the fridge or Mama could make soup. Ooh, make soup. She, y'all, that shocked me. The very first time I ever made that hamburger vegetable soup 
You can't get easier than that, hon. I tell you what. She loved it. I didn't think she would. But she absolutely loved it. And she made a comment again last night. This soup's so good. And I'm like, well, I'm so glad. <laughs> In fact, we had... I don't know if I showed this or not. We still got this much left. Yeah. I just took that bag of its vegetables for soup. Is that I'm gonna say it's by Pick Sweet. Um, seriously, you just dump it in your pot. I always add. You don't have to. I always add diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, like the little can of tomato sauce, the normal like 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the you know with the juice part. And um, a pound of hamburger meat. We use ground turkey. They could not tell. Um, and then two cups of beef broth, which I use my beef bouillon. Um, and that's it. You just let it simmer for like 20, 30 minutes. And seriously, you have homemade hamburger vegetable soup. I meant to put my ABC letters. That's what I usually put in here. I knew there was something. I've got the little, um, they sold it in the Hispanic section of the grocery store. Hey, Bubba. Hey. Oh, you ain't Bubba. You're baby oh. girl. Yeah. Hey, baby girl. Hey. What you up to? Nothing. Nothing, honey. Tell. She's been painting, you can tell. You keep on, you're going to look like a Dalmatian. Yeah. Are you a Dalmatian? Nah. No. Nope. Usually she will not do that. How do you do it? Usually it's just a finger. Hey, now these days you can't be too careful. That's true. Nowadays we do this. Elbows. We don't even do fist bumps to people anymore. Elbows. Because your elbow hadn't touched crap on you, right? Nope. There you go. You can't get your elbow to your eye, your face, nothing. Alright, so I'm putting this back in the fridge. Um, I might remember whenever I get ready to heat this up. I'm debating about fridge or go ahead and freeze it. And we can have it another time. I think I might go ahead and freeze it. And make it be another meal. Oh, sorry, Angel. All right, let me go and do this, and I'll be back. Okay, Hans, I'm back. I uh, got my onions done. I got my cheese bagged up. I got the fridge cleaned out. I've loaded and done a load of dishes. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I have taken breaks in between. And uh, if that man comes through, I'll tell him, tell me to get up off my butt <laughs> and do something. He's like, you just sit there and look pretty. So, <laughs> I'll get up and do for a while and I'll sit down for a while. So, it is what it is. I did remember, though, I was watching um, Alicia from Dog Doggerty Dozen. And she was talking about bacon. And it occurred to me. I got gotten the bacon at Sam's at, at the first of the month. And um, I meant to take some out. I am going to make seven layer casserole probably tomorrow night, I think is what night I put it down on. I have got to hurry up and redo my calendar that goes on the refrigerator because that is like in my face at all times and I can... You know, look and see what appointments, look and see what the menu is. My planner generally stays either near my chair or in my purse. One of the two. Whew. My throat's doing that thing. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to do that recipe for y'all because it is so good. My grandmother used to make it, and me and Fat Man love it. Used to make it all the time when the kids were little. 
They ate it, but they weren't crazy about it. Batman loved it. And I think what happened was I made it so often, we both kind of got burned down on it. But now I forgot about it. I mean, and he had made the kind, you know what you used to make? And I'm like, what? He's like, seven layer casserole. I'm like, hot dog, I can make it again. That and seven layer salad. If you have never, oh my stars, I might make one of those to go with the seven layer casserole. It'd just be a seven night. <laughs> we could have seven up. <laughs> but I am going to take a pack of bacon out and go ahead and get this in the fridge. So hopefully it'll be thawed out by tomorrow night. That's the plan, Stan. Okay, I've got water running. Um, ooh, I need to get hotter. And if, sorry if it was loud whenever I first started. I forgot I had the dishwasher going. Um, I have been soaking my lid and my pitcher in bleach water because sometimes they just get nasty. You know, you'll have that mold. See how that black is around the top? Believe it or not, that is mold or mildew or whatever you want to call it. The lid gets that way. This gets that way. So sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Soak it in bleach. I've had it soaking for a good, I know for a good hour. So, now we are just going to see how all that came off. Hey, baby girl. Hi. Later tonight, we are going to do hamburgers and hot dogs. Well, hamburgers and sausage dogs. Yeah, just yeah, you can get some snackage. There's some yogurt still in there. Oh, there's some pears over here. Alright, so I'm just going to rinse this real good because you don't want anybody getting sick from that bleach. No. Right? Or dead. Right? But it needed cleaning. Right. Yep. Remember how brown it was? Mm hmm. You know how when Brian doesn't clean the teapot? Yep. Oh, wait. He didn't need. My grandmother taught me that day. Bo's mother did it too. That used to be her table. And to this day, it's still nasty on the inside. I won't wash it. I just, I won't wash it. That was the last tea she ever made. <laughs> yep, I taught him that. I did. I taught him, don't you wash that tea pitcher. You let it go for a while. You know, that's a like tea boiler. Where you boil your tea. I would probably be flabbergasted if you saw mine right now. Um, Andrew used to hate that we did that. Ooh, he got all over Brian, and Brian's like, don't you know, that makes it seasoned. And it does. That's what my grandmother used to. See, here's ours. And my grandmother used to talk, teach me that. Don't you watch that, boy. That patina is flavor. <laughs> Alright, so, uh-oh, I forgot I'm on this tripod. I actually have to unscrew and fix and then screw it back. It is what it is, though. It works. There you go. Okay, I am going to... I'm trying to think what I'm going to do now. I'm probably going to go check that fridge in the dining room, see what's up with it, and I think I'm going to really clean the table. Best I remember, it has not been, it's been a hot minute, let's put it that way. And I don't know why. Uh-oh. See, this is usually that sunshine and lemons. Or there's just a kitchen one. There's one called, it's called a kitchen. 
and honey it is wonderful it's lemon it'll have lemons on it and uh it's kitchen oh my goodness that is perfect for the kitchen but we did the holiday scents when it was holiday time and we're going to use them up till they're done all right i'm going to throw these away and then we're going to go clean a dining room table okay i don't know if you can tell but this table is a hot mess. It's got stuff on it while we cleaned out the Jeep and he just threw the stuff in his truck. Um, I've got to go to the probate office and swap the car tag over. Um, that goes back to the car. Doris always get, well, even Foxy when she would go. Um, they'll give him a naked, uh, you know, bandana when they go and get their nails done. And they put cologne on them and the banana. So, yeah, yeah. We've got a little collection, or we used to. Don't know what happens to them. But they had some cutie patootie ones. All right, this, I don't know what. Uh, this was a phone holder. I need to see if it will fit in my Jeep. This is the one, not, not in my Jeep, Lord have mercy. This is the one I had in my Jeep and I need to put it in the car. Of course, there's a little holder in the console for it. Whoa. So I don't know if I need that one or just use the console. Oh crap, use the console with these need to go to the kitchen. I'm going to finish cleaning this up and put those in the fridge and I'll be back. Okay. I'm going to get these sodas in here. Okay. Oh, I do have another gallon of milk. Yay! Alright. So we're just going to put there. Oh, I forgot to bag these up and now they've got the hard stuff. They gotta go. Alright, now we're gonna figure out. I'm gonna try to do my little trick. Uh, we're gonna figure out where's the top. If I can. Okay, pull here. Whoa! I might need you to come help me in a minute. Oh man, that hurt. What? I landed smack dab Oh crap. I broke it. I landed on my catheter thing. Uh oh. And now it's broken. Uh oh. Uh yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. So I gotta go get a new gather. You know how to do it. Well, I mean, I just need the bag. I just need the bag. I'll be back. Okay. I'm back. Now we know to lift this up and out of the way. I've never had that happen like that. Ooh, that hurt. I mean, my knee landed on it. That hurt. Okay, now we're going to get these sodas in here. And remember, I think I've showed y'all this with the 12-pack. You can also do it with 24. Make sure your can lids are up. So you're going to open one end. Make sure your can lids are up. You're going to take them and you're going to put them like in there like that. One fail. So we're going to slide it back to the back as far as we can. Now we're going to open this end. Oh, come on. Whoa. Okay, that's never happened. Don't open those anytime soon. Like I said, I used to do it with a 12 pack. It's cheaper to get in by. 
four, and he used to get diet coke, like actual diet coke from Sam. Ah, oh, yeah, got from Sam's. And they are so darn expensive. Okay, one went flying somewhere. I don't know where. in me tries to get on in a line. <laughs> I know. I'm crazy. But I'm a cute crazy. I'm a not gonna kill you crazy. I'm just a crazy. Alright, and we still have cream sodas. I had gotten these when we did the butter beer for Carol Best's birthday party. And here they sell set. I've got some vanilla ice cream up there. So, I think we might do cream soda floats tonight. That would be good. And it would get that cream soda in the up. Now, i got to try to stand up. But I have to have... Oh, okay. Thank you, Lord. I didn't pull the refrigerator on top of me. Ah. Alright. i can get y'all back up. Okay, woo! That has been neat and doing. Oh, one roll all the way over here. Good gravy, I ring. Don't open this one anytime soon. Alright. Now, got that done. Now I need to try to get some waters in there. But let's wipe off this first. Okay, yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm going to throw these in the garbage. Now talk about yourselves. Okay. That's what I get for um, making a bunch up and then I didn't do my job. I didn't put them in Ziploc bags. And I have no defense. Oh, so they in my defense. But no, I ain't got one. I was gonna say in my defense, I did not have uh, gallon bags, which I did. But I did buy some that I could have done it, and I did not. So I'm just gonna kind of scrub this table down real good. Stuff stuck on it. How do you get the white stains off? I want to say I've asked that before. And somebody told me. But I don't remember what it was. Is it milk? Am I, am I crazy for... There's something sticky right there. Am I crazy for thinking it's milk? Who... Where am I getting that? Did I dream that or is that a true thing? This is one reason why I usually, especially like for the holidays and stuff, I usually try to keep a tablecloth on it. Uh-oh, let me go ahead and answer my thing. It's probably about my funeral expenses or vehicle warranty, which you do have now. Okay, like I said, I usually try keep a tablecloth on it, but, um, I mean, she is, she is showing some worse for wear, for sure. Oh, will let that kind of get wet and set for a minute. See how, even here, it's getting that white tint, and I don't know, I wonder if it, uh, this leaf didn't come out though. This one didn't come out. I need to swap that one for that one because that one has a pop in it. Over there on the end, the veneer popped off. Alright, I think. 
fast, it's about as good as she's going to get. And we're just going to call it, it's, it's life. It shows that it's been used, loved, ding, dented, yeah, yeah. It just, it's been used. It's been loved. Yeah, yeah. If it was pristine, that means nobody ever sat there. Yeah. Yay! Yay!
Okay, I'm at the sink. I am getting ready to uh, prep some potatoes that desperately need to be in. I'll show you in a minute by what I mean. I mean, they're still good. But they've got eyes on them. They need to be used. All you have to do, as long as they aren't shriveled up, they're still usable. And I need to use them or lose them. And I'm not going to lose them. Um, yeah, there's no sense in throwing them out. Um, that one is kind of shrivelly. We might have to rethink his position in life. Um, <laughs> That one's not. I'm just popping the eyes off. Um, but yeah, even if they have eyes on them, they're still okay. Like I said, as long as they aren't shriveled up. And then when you cut them, or slice them, or whatever you're going to do with them, as long as they aren't black on the inside, you're good. Um, yeah. I'm going to do homemade fried potatoes. Um, I almost like hash brown or we call them fried taters. Not french fries, but fried taters. Um, I'm going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and chunk him. He's, see how shriveled? I mean, he's like right on that line. Do you use it or not? We're not going to use it. Um... I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a plate. I'm going to put these all on a plate. Now, see, he shriveled just a little bit. But he'll be okay, I think. He doesn't feel like that other one felt. So, this is going to make us a good bit. And it's getting used. So, I'm just going to put these in the microwave. You do not want them all the way done. Because when you're frying them, then they'll get all the way done. You want them kind of, I don't know, not parboiled, but um, about halfway cooked in the microwave. So, about halfway baked. So, we're going to come over. Walk with me, shall you? You shall. Um, Alright. We are just going to pop them in the microwave. Yes, I did. Clean my microwave. We're going to put it on since her cook. Mine is eight for um, taters. And like I said, I'm going to stop it about halfway through. I'm not going to let it go all the way. So there you go. And then when I get ready to, when he starts the uh, burgers tonight, I'll start frying them. I just want to go ahead and get them pre-done now. So that can kind of be cooling so I can cut them right. So, I'll let y'all know whenever we get back to it. I never about startled the snot out of myself. I was getting the jar of pickles out of the refrigerator. And they slipped and I caught them like that. So, the jar in your ear and I mean, I'm like... Yeah. So, yeah. I did catch it though. I almost tried that jar, whole big jar of pickles. Don't do that. I know, right? That would have been a mess. Hey, but here's how I do my potatoes. They are like, some are a little bit more done than I really would prefer, but they are not all the way done. Um, and you just cut them up into cubes. I did them kind of like that. And I got hot oil going. And I cut up like maybe four at a time. Just whatever my pan would hold, my skillet would hold. And I just popped them in there and I'm just kind of letting them do. I want them to get good and golden brown and crispy. And then I'm going to take them and put them off on this cookie sheet that I've got lined with a lot of paper towels. Um, and they're just kind of hanging out doing their thing. He just has taken... The hamburger patty's out. And yeah, he came back in and got the Kinect sausage. So, we're on a roll. I've already done the um, fixings like the lettuce, the tomato, the onion. I've got it all on the table. I've got the ketchup, the mustard, the mayo. 
I'm the only one that likes mayo on mine. Y'all. Gotta love mayo. Um, I even like it on hot dogs. A friend of mine from church taught me that. And then she also taught me to put mayo on your barbecue sandwich. Yeah, it'd be good. I do love cold roast beef sandwiches. Like whatever roast you have left. Let it get good and cold. The next day, you put some mayo on some bread. And then you put that roast on there. Oh my lord, sweet hannies. Your tongue will be slapping the back of your throat. It is good. It is good. But yeah, I'm just kind of waiting on these to get done. Waiting on my tea to get done. Um, oh, I've got to put that lettuce back in a container. And uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, he's just kind of... I wonder if I can do y'all. Uh-oh. Hey. There you go. I've got to see about a tripod. Because this just... I mean, it's working, but... It could be better. Alright, I'm just going to take my lettuce. I'm not going to break off the end just yet. Or do I? Do I go ahead and break off the end? Maybe I do. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think I did. Don't cut it off. You want to pop it off. Because if you cut it, that end's going to get brown. And you don't want brown. Yeah. Just pop it off, put it in. I love my Rubbermaid Fresh Make containers. Not sponsored, by the way. But if Rubbermaid, if you'd like to hook a, hook a half up, you can hook a half up. My tea's almost about ready to boil. So let's turn that off. I'm just going to keep rotating y'all around. Let's see. And you're eager to can see what I'm doing or see me. But you ain't going to be able to see both right now because we're just too close up. Alright, we're going to turn that off and let it just kind of do its fine. And then I'm going to put this lettuce in here. Um, I could go ahead and make up some more um, coleslaw like I did Saturday to go with the fried chicken. But I think I'm going to let it hold out one more day and... Well, I was going to say, I think I've got fish tomorrow night, but I've got some of my casserole, I think, tomorrow night. I have to go back and look at my, I never did have done my um, fridge calendar or my fridge mini planner, so I need to get that done. Because already in my head, I have almost two weeks worth of menus done in my head. Which is good because we won't get paid next week. So, I try to kind of go ahead. I only planned one this time, but I know I've got enough stuff like in the freezer, canned goods. I got some frozen veggies to try to start replacing some that we lost. That's like I don't have um, like Chinese on the menu this week, but I know I've got the popcorn chicken, which I can do the six sister stuff sticky sesame chicken say that three times fast it is delicious though um, when I do make it I'll paste the um, recipe or the link I'll paste the link for it below it but it is amazing I've made it and posted it before because it is so simple like seriously it is just so simple you can't mess it up. And it is just absolutely delicious. And it's one of those quick get to her meals. Um, I really wanted to either get some wonton wrappers to do fried wontons or egg rolls to do egg rolls. But, but you did or not allow for splurges. So, we we'll just have rice. I did get stir fried vegetables. I've got the like I said, the popcorn chicken already. I've got honey. I've got everything that it calls for. I just would have liked to have had 
like the egg rolls or the fried wontons. And I might have Fat Man pick up some, he wouldn't know where to look, for the wonton wrappers. But he might know where to look if I'm holding egg rolls. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But yeah, here are what my potatoes are looking like now. See, they're starting to get brown. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I want them just a little bit browner. I do believe I like them brown and crispy. They're going to be crisp on the outside, but good and soft on the inside. They are delicious. We call them hash browns. Um, Y'all make like the little square frozen hash browns you get in the freezer section. You see, them things were cheap. We'd get those when we had all of them to feed. Uh, we would get those. And because they were like, you could get 20 of the dead burn things for like $2. When in the heck did those go through the roof? They cost more than meat. And good luck finding them. Maybe that's why they're so expensive. They're hard to find. Don't know. What is it with the deal of the frozen potatoes? Why are they so hard to find? Why is there a shortage of tater tots? The South's going to be done with if we can't find our tots. Because you can do lots of things with tots. I know y'all probably know how to do tater tot casserole. Have you ever done breakfast tater tot casserole? That'd be good. Instead of ground beef, you use ground sausage. Um, yeah, you chop it with cheese. You can add some scrambled egg to it. Um, that's good. Or you can do fried eggs and place them in between. Um, yeah. These are starting to hiss. See, I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but when it starts that high-pitched hissing noise, you know you're good, Mama. You know you're good. All right, that's what those are looking like. And I've got three more taters. I need to go ahead and get them suckers cut up while my grease is... Before my grease gets too hot, I am going to have to cut it down a little bit. Um... All right, so see how they're hissing kind of or squealing or whatever you want to call it. This is the knife I was using for potatoes, and we are just going to cut, I don't know if y'all can see it, that way, and then roll it and do it that way, and then cut it into wedges. And if they're like that, all you got to do is just kind of break them apart. Be careful about dropping them in that hot grease. You do not want to splash it, but you don't want your finger going down in there either. It's got to be that fine, that fine divide. Because I have been known to accidentally take the tip of my fingers and accidentally hit that hot grease. And let me tell you, you know when you do. You know what I mean? Alright, so now we're going to cut up the second one. Alright, got the second one going. The peeling came off. Which, that's okay, too. It will crisp up. You ever had potato skins? Well, there you go. That one will be a potato skin. Now, on um, Peacock. I don't know if y'all have Peacock or not, but anywho, on Peacock, they have a new movie out called Sick, and it's about the 
C, sickness, or the C word, virus. I can't actually say the word. Do you know that YouTube, the algorithm looks for that word and it will ditch your video? Yeah. Yeah. So, but anywho, the C word virus. Honey, I got to watching that last night and let me tell you what, you want to talk about a thriller. I am not one to discuss too much what I watch on here. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. If you have Peacock, you need to watch it. If you like thrillers. It wasn't nothing like horrific. It wasn't like a horror, per se. Um, it was a thriller. Because you were anxious to find out who it was. Why. You know, that type of thing. That's all I'm going to say. But it was made in 2022, and it was based on 2020 events. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to let these... Do. Oh, i got to turn my heat, heat back on. I turned it off so it wouldn't, you know. This looks so good right here. That is perfect. Mm-hmm. Good and crunchy. Crispy. I have been known, not often, but I have been known to flour them up and do them that way. We used to get them from a gas station called potato logs. But those were good too now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, here are my potatoes. Minus a few because, yes, I did sample. I ate one crispy one and that sank the ship if you say um because i had to eat a few more then be good then be good i i could have seasoned them they're really good with garlic powder onion powder salt a little bit of parsley do them that way awesome and then sometimes i just do them like this where they're just plain so but yeah that is how we do i was gonna try to see yeah that's the little crunchies. If you like a lot of those, slice them real thin. You can make homemade chips. And they're delicious. I'll be back. Okay, hines, it's Big Mama. We ate supper. It was delicious. Um, I am loving those hamburger patties from Sam's Club. It's the Angus one. You got like 18 in a pack. So it gives us a couple of meals. Um, yeah. Well, we ate it off of it. I want to say like twice, maybe. Anywho, um, thank you for joining us. Like I said, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe. And even if you're old here, hit that like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know um, what y'all had for supper tonight. You know, um, yeah, yeah. So I did finally go ahead and update our um, refrigerator calendar and our menu calendar. It's just, I can see it, you know, I'll look through and I'm like, oh, okay, today we're going to have um, chicken tenders. I know if I need to take something out and you know, let it thaw or whatever or prepare. Um, so, but yeah. So, comment down below. What did y'all have for supper? And I will see y'all tomorrow. So, be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing. There won't be nothing. Share. Play nights with others. If you need bail money, you can bet I'm involved. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, if you need bail money, you call Big Mama. Yeah, yeah, so I will see y'all next time.